Hi guys, this is Konrad from Motion VFX. Today I'm gonna show you how to achieve the flaming head effect from Kendrick Lamar's music video Humble. Let's get started. Let's start by launching M extension. In the M elements tab, we search for the trackable placeholder preset and drag it onto the timeline. We adjust the length of the element so that it lasts exactly as long as the video beneath it. We go to the inspector tab and set the drop zone so that its base is positioned at the center. Next thing, we disable the drop zone's visibility, open the tracker toolbar and start tracking. Once tracking is done, we enable the drop zone's visibility back again. Let's go back to M extension. Search for fire in the M collections tab and drag it onto the timeline. We adjust the file's duration to fit our composition and disable its visibility using the V key. Click on the trackable placeholder preset and place the fire clip inside the drop zone. The next step is adjusting the fire so that it blends realistically with our composition. I'll start by visually transforming the fire into smoke. We'll add the final flame in the next step. At this moment, as you can see, I'm refining the effect by adjusting its position and scale to make it as convincing as possible during movement. I constantly ensure that the effect is as satisfying as possible. To visually transform fire into smoke, I set its blending mode to screen and adjust the settings in the color adjustment tab. Let's add another element and place it inside a duplicated trackable placeholder. Before adding the fire file to our duplicated placeholder, we adjust its length to match our timeline and disable its visibility using the V key. We edit its appearance and size to match our composition. The final step is subtly adding realism to our composition by simulating hot air rising above the fire. To achieve this effect, we create a group and duplicate it. We apply the trackable mask preset to the duplicated group. The trackable mask, which you can find in M extension, is fully editable. Among other features, it allows you to adjust the number of mask segments from 3 to 15 points. In our case, we only need 4 points to mask. We set the mask tracking points and click track. Next, we change footage preview to invert so that the mask doesn't create a hole, but instead contains the video material. Finally, we fine-tune the mask points and it's done. The last step is adding the underwater effect from the effects tab. We fine tune the effect settings and now we can enjoy the final result. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the Motion VFX channel to see more tutorials like this. <laughs>